Welcome back to A Gardener's Journey. Um, today I'm going to be planting some blueberry bushes into my blueberry planter. And I'm going to also be planting one blueberry bush into a pot. Um, we did have a hard freeze about, well, last night and the day before yesterday. About three hard freezes three days or three nights in a row. So I thought that my blueberry bush was going to do good or be okay. But I am seeing a little bit of frost damage at the top of my blueberry bush. So I want to go ahead and get it into the ground, go ahead and nurture it and baby it and see if I can get it back healthy again. So um, I have two different types of blueberry varieties and I'm going to show you guys those right now. So here I have my two different varieties. This right here is the blueberry glaze. Um, so this is a more compact container type variety of blueberry and I think it will be in the category of a hybrid because it is a thing. So here are my two different varieties of blueberries. I have this bush, bushel and berry. Yeah, bushel and berry. I want to say bushel and barrel. <laughs> but this one is container friendly. Um, it is the blueberry glaze. So this one was okay after our little hard freeze for three days straight. But this one here is um, it's a small berry size. And I'm just going to, I just got this because I thought this was really pretty. And, and also in the winter time it's leaves are more of that reddish color and I just love that color and I thought that this paired with this blueberry bush will look really good together. Now this blueberry bush is the one that has frost damage. Hopefully you guys can see this clear. This blueberry bush has some frost damage so I want to um, I definitely want to get this into the ground I wish I would have already had it in the ground or at least protected it against the frost I thought that it was gonna be okay I mean it is a frost party all the way down to negative 10 degrees we didn't get that low but obviously it didn't like the freeze with being in a pot so and it probably just not acclimated to you know that cold of a weather just yet so this um blueberry bush here is called the bountiful beauty so this looks like this is going to be really pretty it can grow up to four feet tall and four feet wide and i just this is what i'm going for in my planter See if I can get that to focus for you guys. So this is what I'm going for in my planter. There we go. And I'll show you guys my um, my little raised bed planter that I made with cinder blocks. So planting these blueberries are gonna go right. Planting these blueberries are gonna go right here, and I'm trying to get them planted up before it gets too warm outside and the lizards come out because they just love that cinder block right there. So this is where I'm gonna plant the one that's gonna get big and bushy and I'm just gonna have that one blueberry plant into this um, raised bed that I made along with some flowers. And I'm also going to be getting rid of, well not getting rid, but just changing where I have this um, pot at and putting the container I got one of those um, whiskey barrel not whiskey barrel but wine barrel containers that I'm going to cut open the bottom so that the small blueberry bush roots can go to the bottom of the ground and feed so it's kind of kind it's kind of working like a raised bed but also a container but yes I'm gonna put that right here and then I'm gonna do some other things but that'll probably be on another video but for right now, you guys are going to see me plant up my blueberry here and then plant another blueberry probably right beside it somewhere. We'll see. We'll see as time goes past. 
but yeah let's get started here i already have some blueberry plants in here but i'm gonna pull these up because this is not the look that i'm going for into this bed and i also have some strawberries now i dug up a couple of strawberries and put them into my green stalk i still have a couple more in here i really don't like having this um the strawberries in here because then the squirrels get into it so yeah i'm just gonna redo the whole bed and then try to figure out how to protect all my stuff these two blueberry bushes i don't i i got them when i first started gardening and they really don't produce much so i don't know i think i'm just gonna take these old blueberry and put into a pot and see if i can get them to do a lot better before planting them out so we'll just see and then again with the strawberries i'll try to save as many as i can and just replant those somewhere different scraps in with some leaves um, paper whatever just kitchen scraps and napkins paper towels that we use to clean our hands with I got some holes drilled and if I don't already have Okay, so now I got a little bit of fertilizer in here. I already watered my blueberry plant, as you can see. And I also pruned all of that frost damage off. And I placed it in here. And this is where I will be um, keeping food scraps. I have these buckets set all over my garden. And as you can see, I did pruning off the frost damage. I got some leaves in here, just a little bit of dirt to cover up the food, the food scraps. But as you can see, there go food scraps right there. And I don't even know what that is. Maybe like some bread or something. Ew, it got in my nails. But anyways, I just keep it all covered so that it can break down and feed this blueberry plant and whatever else that I may put in here which I'm thinking about just putting a couple of annual flowers in here um, nothing too much or nothing too big just uh, just a couple of annual flowers to just dress it up a little bit more until this get until this bush gets really big and full so but anyways yep that's what I got going on here and I can even put some more leaves to the top if I want it to and then I am about to water this down and it's going to break down and once it start breaking down it's going to feed this blueberry plant and then the earthworms are going to come and yeah nature's going to do its thing so got my little bucket of water also 
Also, you don't have to use fertilized water. This was just some residual of fertilized water for me, water and my green stuff. And I'm also gonna give the blueberries some of that water. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm not gonna water too much. I already did water this a little bit more, but I'm not gonna do too much watering because it is gonna rain tomorrow. So, put my top on, this is my top. Put this on and then we are, we're done. Okay, you guys, it's been a couple of days since I planted my blueberry bushes. Just want to give an update we've been having a lot of rain today it's sunny outside so just wanted to give an update on these blueberry bushes that i've planted and i'm super excited uh, i am going to give another update or i'm going to keep updating how these how well these bushes took being into their new home and also once i start decorating this area but I am super excited, can't wait. Spring is almost around the corner. It feels so beautiful outside. So let me show you guys how these blueberry bushes are looking. Okay, so here they are. And they are looking really good. It hasn't even been a week yet, but the frost damage hasn't, um, I clipped off all the frost damage. So therefore, this is how this bush is looking and I'm loving it. Some of the berries did get damaged by the frost, the little berry flowers and stuff. I'm starting to notice that the browning of the flowers, but it'll be okay. I'm pretty sure it's gonna bounce back, but I am super happy. Can't wait to have some blueberries this summer, hopefully. And definitely by next year, hopefully this thing will be full of blueberries. Also, I have my smaller bush down here. I'm kind of scared to get because I need to rake. I need to rake and be able to see what's going on. You know, I don't like critters. So, kind of nervous. But anyways, because I just saw a chipmunk. He just ran through here. But, um, but yes, here go my other blueberry bush. These flowers are gorgeous. Like, look how gorgeous these flowers are. Oh, they match my nail color. Huh, how cute. But yes, these flowers, trying to get it to focus, are gorgeous. They're gonna come in pink. That's what it seemed like these flowers are gonna be, pink flowers. So that that's gonna be very, very beautiful. And I think these come in, I don't know if they come in white or pink. Maybe more white. Yeah, and then these come in pink because all I see is pink. So that's gonna be gorgeous. Like I said, I got this because it was just a beautiful bush. And look at all those potential blueberries that are all over this. So, yeah, super excited. Um, hopefully, these can recover or produce more berries. Hopefully, that happens. Because, yeah, a lot of them did get damaged by the frost. Yeah, they have pink flowers, too. And I love the blue. Like, the color blue that these are gonna produce. But a lot of the flowers, as you can see, have brown tips. So I don't know if it's gonna be able to recover. Hopefully so. But yes, I just wanted to give you guys an update on my two blueberry bushes. And next week, oh, I'm trying to get the other one. There it goes. It's in the shade, I might need to raise it up to get it into the sun because something is definitely shading it out so we'll see in the summertime spring when spring really gets here we'll see if it stays in the shade for most of the time if it does i'll just get something to help raise that up out of the shade because i'm pretty sure it's just one of these trees behind me and as you can see they're pretty tall that is shading out that blueberry bush and we don't want that we want it to get nice nice sun so there go the other one the other one is in the sun but it's up higher so anyways um you guys next video or thank you for coming along with this video um hopefully i'll be uploading a lot more a lot more videos and thank you guys for watching this video till next time i'm gonna say bye youtube and i'll see you guys in the next video if you like this video please comment share subscribe all that good stuff like so yeah see you guys in the next video bye bye